Man was shot to death after confronting someone stealing his car. That and more news coming up on Sinkton. Hey everyone, police say a 33-year-old man was shot and killed on Tuesday in Gilroy after confronting a suspect who was stealing his car. Officers reportedly responded to a hit-and-run call around 12.30 a.m. and found the victim laying on the street with a gunshot wound to the chest. The victim ended up dying later at the hospital. CHP was able to track down the stolen car and arrested the suspect, 27-year-old Angel Ochoa Moreno of Oakland, after a chase. Gilroy PD is asking anyone with information on the case to call their tip line. In other local news, it was a very tense day at West Valley College in Saratoga on Monday. The whole school was placed on lockdown around 11 a.m. after police say an employee reported seeing someone with the rifle on campus. Officers searched the premise and at around 1.30 lifted the lockdown. According to the district chancellor, two suspects were detained. We determined that there were two individuals involved who had a replica airsoft rifle that looked very much like a real gun. Students and parents say while they're thankful nothing happened, it was a very scary situation. Say they thought they were going to be victims of another school shooting. It's very frightening. This is just very, very frightening of not knowing what's going on. Like, where is this person and what are the police doing? We immediately turned the lights off and all got up against the teacher's desk. And, um, and we were all immediately silent. And um, people were scared. People were crying. I was crying because um, I thought we were going to be one of those schools that had a shooting. Officials are investigating the incident. Okay, shifting gears, this latest storm is already causing a lot of damages around the region after hitting overnight Tuesday. We've seen a bunch of downed trees, landslides, and of course, many communities in or around the Bay Area have dealt with flooding, including Pajaro, a small town down in Monterey County. This is what it currently looks like. Two levee breaks, one that happened over the weekend and another late Monday, have caused major flooding and mass evacuations. Officials are now looking at speeding up the timeline on a project to reinforce a levee. Well, the goal now is to move, remove as many administrative barriers as we possibly can to start construction earlier than that and to implement the project in a much more condensed time frame. We've been tracking all the storm-related problems around the Bay Area, including power outages. You can find the most updated information on our website. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.